Hey, it's Wolf here. Hey, thank you so much for checking out my channel. So in this video, we're going to look at Zero X, ZRX. Um, is it still worth buying in 2022? And also a quick price prediction uh, for 2022, just for fun. Uh, quickly, before we start this video, I want to show you a huge opportunity that's happening right now. Okay, so last year I turned, um, let me show you here. So $500 into over $300,000, okay? And I had tons of clients who literally made anything between 1K to up to half a million dollars. A couple of guys made literally half a million dollars. So it's crazy. So right now we're in the middle of the bear market and the opportunities are even better. Okay, right now, even better. So if you want to know which coins I put my money in in 2022, you can get the first link in the description. It will take you to this page. And from here on you just click zero. So it's completely free for you, right? And I in inside, I will show you how, like basically strategies on how I turn $500 into over 300K. And also you will have access to my portfolio if you choose to. I will show you how you can access that. Anyway, first thing in the description, don't miss out, absolutely huge opportunity. Now, with zero X, let's uh, start with the you know website and let's look at Twitter. So it's built on Ethereum and what it does is you can see a trusted exchange infrastructure for the internet. Um, this is an older project. I've been seeing this for a long, like for years. I've been in crypto since late 2016. Um, the thing with uh, Zero X is that it it's still kind of like a, not a lot of smart people, very smart people like it. Of course, like you can see, it's followed by uh, Balaji, Bardic, and Chainlink, and the Graph. So there are some very smart people following this project, meaning that when tons of smart people like it there's a huge probability that it's a it's a great currency you know so this could be a one peak in the uh sorry uh you know the diversified portfolio like you can see the liquidity endpoint for DeFi on then there's the ethereum the scaling solution optimism polygon binance smart chain zero avalanche oh, okay so zero api is a professional grade liquidity aggregator and it'll be in the future of DeFi applications so what they're basically doing is let me show you here let me show you here so in traditional finance, you have a order book model. So you probably have seen this, um, for example, on Binance, when you buy on Binance or KuCoin or buy stocks, um, whatever you are buying, you have buy orders. Some people are buying and you have sell orders. Some people are selling, meaning that some, there actually have to be human interaction. So for, let's, say, let's say that someone sells for $20 and someone buys for, wants to buy for $18 and, uh, you know, there are market makers, but basically you are buying from humans and you are selling for humans. Now with uh, these are all old, old models. So basically this requires people to buy and sell. And this requires a centralized, um, you know, entity. And the centralized entity, of course, is intensified to take a trading fee. You know, so there are fees, it's centralized, um, not the best. Right now, everything is basically based on this. Now with DeFi, what makes DeFi the, uh, great is um, it's decentralized, okay? So basically when you want it to, right now you have this, for example, centralized exchanges. When you want to, for example, buy something, you go to the centralized exchanges and they have their own points where they will take the profits like I just showed you and then you get to the B. Now with, um, when you, if you want to buy, for example, something, now with DeFi and decentralized finance, you have if you want to go from a to b all you have to do is interact with the smart contract which is automated market maker which is well for example uh, uniswap is decentralized exchange built on built on top of ethereum and uh, there's the automated market maker you basically interact with the smart contract there is no humans needed so how this works it, it has liquidity pools okay that where the, where the liquidity comes from and the people or the product or protocol with with the best liquidity is basically going to win and the reason for that is if their liquidity is low there's going to be a lot of slippage so basically you lose a lot of money so what zero x is do doing is a professional so it's a professional grade liquidity aggregator okay so an aggregator means that it pulls the liquidity let's say that this is an ethereum usdc okay it pulls liquidity from multiple sources. So aggregator means so a news aggregator pulls news from different sources. So liquidity aggregator pulls liquidity from different sources. And when you have that kind of liquidity, there's no slippage. So it's very scalable. Okay, so that's what Zeroax is doing. Very professional. And like you can see, so if you want to sell 1,500 uh, DAI, for example, the stable coin that is uh, 
uh, you know, provided by Maker uh, DAO. Uh, but anyway, so if you want to sell 100 at 1.5 K DAI on for Ethereum, it takes 50% of the uh, liquidity from Balancer, 25 from Zero X Mesh, and 25 from Uniswap. So it has so it finds the best prices. So this is absolutely huge. Absolutely huge. And I believe a lot of people don't talk about this is because uh, they don't understand the concept that I just told you. And the people with the, the, the so the automated marker is the best creation ever uh, because we can exchange value without uh, without anybody else. It should be, uh, there's only the smart contracts, there's no middleman. So um, you can see the uptime is all the time. It's very fast, it's scalable. It's, uh, you know, you can see Rary Capital, Zapper here. So, yeah, it's just very usable and not all the smart people. I don't know why so why not a lot of smart people aren't following this. But Balaji is very smart. This guy is very smart. Also Chainlink God and uh, Bardek. This is um, this is a very smart man. So you can see here and Maker does. So, yeah. So these guys are following zero x so zero x in my opinion it's just not going up it hasn't went up crazily and the reason for that is because the um when we when we get when we scale DeFi, that's when the liquidity becomes a problem when you for example think about when you want when, well if you want to trade like 50 dollars worth of ethereum there's no problem with the liquidity but let's say that you want to want to trade with 50 million or 500 million that's when liquidity comes that when with the sleep with, with the slippage if there's not enough um if doesn't if there's not enough um you know liquidity you will literally lose like <laughs> like you know literally hundreds million, hundreds of millions of dollars on that transaction it's like literally 20 percent of that money so um it's huge it's huge zero x is huge and they've been for, doing it for a long time so um i like that i think that zero x is definitely part of a, of a diversified portfolio and right now i'm personally looking at to but i think that it's going to go down even more because i think that the bull market is going to so not bull market, bear market is going to we're going to go down even more. So it's a huge project. I think that every like huge port like if you are building a diversified portfolio, you want to have zero X there because it's uh it's a very good project. Anyway, I think that this can absolutely run up. However, I think it's going to take years for it to run up, but I think that when it runs up, it will run up like crazy. Okay. So this is more a patient play, it's not something like it will fastly go up. But I think that it's a, it's part of a diversified portfolio, like I said many times. Anyway, if you want to see more of my picks, like more low cap picks, this is kind of like a mid tier pick. If you want to see more low cap picks, you can check out the first link in the description to get instant access there. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next videos and peace out.